Hello dear viewers, welcome to TV Matab. In our today's session, we want to discuss other Wakisha joint mock examination that was recently done by the senior six students. So this will be mathematics paper one and we shall start with section A. So section A contains eight questions and we shall begin with question number one. So question number one was saying, if O is the origin, A is a point which is 8, 0, and B is a point which is 0, 6, then find the coordinates of point Q where the line 3x plus 2y minus c equaling to 0 intersects the line AB. And it was simply taking 5 marks. So let us look at the solution. So we are given that O is the origin. We are given that A is a point and B is also a point for which we are given uh, their corresponding uh, coordinates. So we are having A, which is given as 8, 0. We have B, which is given as 0, 6. So we need to find the coordinates of point Q where this line here intersects with the line AB. So when we look at this question here, we need to first of all get the line AB. Then when it intersects with this line, then we shall be in position to get the point Q. So let us look at how best we can get the line AB. We know that if we are given A and B, the coordinates for A and B, we can easily get the equation of the line. So that is what we shall begin with. So let us look at how best we can get the line AB. First of all, we shall first get the gradient. Which gradient is the gradient of AB? So the gradient of AB will be uh, equaling to M. But we also know m is same as the change in y over change in x. So this is same as y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So we need m, which m is y2. So we can call this one point x2, y2. We can call this point x1, y1. So for that case, we shall have 6 minus 0 divided by 8, uh, divided by 0 minus 8. So this will give us 6 divided by negative 8, and this will be negative 3 divided by 4. That is when we try to simplify this. So for that case, we are having our gradient as negative 3 over 4, but we also know uh, that uh, having the gradient, we can easily uh, get uh, the equation of the line. So also we shall say uh, from... Uh, from if we consider a general point on this line AB as XY, so we shall have from gradient M, which is Y minus, we can use Y1, upon X minus X1, where X and Y is a general point on the line AB. So this will be negative 3 over 4, which is equal to Y minus Y1, we can take 0, over X minus X1, we can take 8. So you can use y1 and x1, or else you can use x2 and y2. They will all give you the same answer. So try to simplify this. This will be negative 3 over 4 into x minus 8, which is equal to y. So it means your y is actually the same as negative 3 over 4 into x minus 8. So we can call this equation number 1. So we have equation number 1. Which equation? is the equation of the line AB. So this is the equation of the line AB. So if this is for the line AB, and now we are interested in getting the point of intersection between this line and this. So whenever you are told to obtain the point of intersection, it means at the point of intersection, these two lines must be equal. So if these two lines are to be equal, it is same as solving the two equations simultaneously. Now, since we need to solve the two equations simultaneously, we can use uh, different methods to do that. One, we can use the substitution method. Since y is already in terms of x, then we simply substitute y into this equation and we get the value of x. So let us use the substitution method. We shall substitute this y into this equation. So substitute y equaling to negative 3 over 4 into x minus 8 into uh, the equation which is 3x plus 2y minus c equaling to 0. So when we do that, we shall have 3x uh, plus 2y, that is 2 times negative 3 over 4 into x minus 8, uh, then minus c equaling to 0. So from here, we can try to simplify by 2 is 1, by 2 is 2. So we shall remain with 3x 
minus 3 over 2 into x minus 8 minus c, which is equal to 0. So we shall multiply through by 2. This will be 6x minus 3 into x minus 8 minus 2c, which is equal to 0. So for that case, we shall remain with uh, 6 a, 6x six minus, we simplify this, minus 3x plus 24 minus 2c, which is equal to 0. So simplifying this further, we get 3x. Uh, let us put everything the other side. That is 2c minus 24. So for that case, it means your x is same as having a third into 2c minus 24. But we can easily say that 2 is common here, so we can pull out the 2, and we shall have c minus 12. So this will be the value of x. So x is same as 2 upon 3 into c minus 12. So after getting that, we can now get the value of y. Now from, uh, from y, from y which is equal to negative 3 over 4 into x minus 8, since we already have the value of x, we can get the value of y. So y will be equal to negative 3 over 4 times what is the value of x. Uh, the value of x is 2 out of 3 into c minus 12. Then we are subtracting 8. That is what we are having. So we shall try to simplify this. We shall have negative 3 over 4 into uh, this one here is same as having. We can try to get the LCM here, which is 3. 3 divided by 3 will be 1. So we shall remain with 2C minus uh, 24. Uh, then this again will be 3 times that. That is minus 24 again. So that is what we shall have. So this will be same as having negative 3 out of 4 times 1 out of 3 into 2C minus 48. That is what we shall have. So here by 3 is 1. By 3 will cancel out. We remain with negative a quarter into 2c minus 48. So looking at this, we can uh, try to factorize out the 2. The 2 will reduce this one. We shall remain with negative a half into c minus 24. So this can as well be written as a half into uh, 24 minus c. That is what we can have as well. So this is the value of y. But we are interested in having the coordinate Q. Which coordinate Q is, which coordinate here is the point of intersection. So since we are interested in the coordinates, and you understand that coordinates are in form of X and Y, so it means we shall finally say there are far. There are far the coordinates of Q are, we shall have, X, X is 2 out of 3, into c minus 12 then y y is this one here a half into 24 minus c so this will be uh, the coordinates of q and that q as we have seen is the point of intersection between uh, the two lines and with that you'll be able to get your five marks so let us go to question number two yeah, yeah.